Morning News with Scott Brigaman. Uh, I'm assuming uh, Republicans are able to hold on to the Senate. How will uh, climate change uh, be impacted amid a divided government? Josiah Neely, who advises the Washington, D.C.-based R Street Institute Energy Team, discusses the bipartisan Growing Climate Solutions Act, which aims to create a government-run verifier for agriculture-related carbon offsets. So this is something that has developed in the private sector. There's a lot of companies that want to purchase these offsets, uh, carbon offsets, which agriculture, as you noted, is a is a big potential source of. One of the one of the problems has been a kind of lack of any sort of system for verification of what's actually happening with the offsets and how much carbon reduction you're really getting or whatnot. And so, as you mentioned, the Growing Climate Solutions Act. Part of that involves uh, setting up a verification system for the government. It's voluntary. You know, people are doing this through the market, but it would be sort of a better business bureau type of stamp of approval that they could put on these things to say, okay, if you want to purchase these offsets, there's guarantees that they're actually happening and you can get, you know, this is how much carbon is, is being reduced. And that, I think, would help that private market to develop. How much of a threat is climate change or the situations going unchanged right now? Uh, how much could they impact the United States, the world, and the economy? I think that there are some definite real risks involved, risks and costs involved with climate change over the long term. I think it's important to remember that climate change is a long-term problem. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why we focus on bipartisan solutions, because... You know, the nature of our political system is for a while the Republicans are in charge and then for a while the Democrats are in charge. It flips back and forth. So if you don't, if you have something that only one side can agree on, uh, that's not a long term solution, yeah. right? It's going to keep, it's going to keep, uh, you know, the lights are going to keep going on and off, uh, metaphorically speaking. Yeah. Uh, so I, the, the some things that we've identified, uh, that can, that could happen. Uh, under uh, a Biden-McConnell administration are not only important for B- Biden-McConnell, but they also help show that, yeah, you, you can do this in a bipartisan way, and I think that's what's necessary to make it durable and lasting, uh, and that's what we really need to protect ourselves. And I guess one of the big arguments moving forward will always be whether it's uh, the way things are when it comes to uh, natural climate change or versus man-made. There are natural cycles of the climate, too. That I think that's absolutely right. Uh, but th- there's also, I, certainly I'm not going to discount an effect from man there. Right. Uh, a lot of the things that we have tried to focus on, how I would also note, um, are things that uh, have other non-climate benefits, uh, economic benefits, mm-hmm. uh, uh, freedom benefits, things where, you know, regardless of whatever you think about uh emissions themselves, these are things uh, that are good for the country and uh, uh, good for the health of the people. Yeah, whether it's man-made or just a natural cycle, uh, Josiah, I think you're with me as a resident of Texas and us being here in North Carolina, that uh, this record-setting hurricane season can't happen again. (laughs) We can't deal with this again, can we? (laughs) Well, you know, uh, many things that, that... I I would say I don't want it to happen again. It can happen again. It probably can. But uh, uh, yes, uh, I you know, we've seen uh, some very devastating storms here in Texas, as you have in North Carolina as well. And uh, it's always it's always uh, uh, very tragic. Uh, But, you know, the as they as they said in the the Boy Scouts, uh, you got to be prepared. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of these things by by taking the action ahead of time uh, to be ready and to try and reduce or mitigate uh, the risk involved, uh, you know, we can handle it. Yeah, the storms will hear long before we were. They'll be here long once we're gone. But the the intensity, the rising intensity and the frequency of them uh, definitely uh, cause for concern as we move towards uh, 2021. Yeah, well, many things to be concerned about for 2021, but also a lot of things to be hopeful about. Yeah, I guess we do have a lot of things to look forward to, hopefully, and that is uh, Josiah Neely who advises the Washington, D.C.-based R Street Institute's uh, energy team.